good morning all today we are going to see the next part of decision tree now decision tree is nothing but uh, you can say as an upside down tree which means that the root will be at the top and then its roots will be split up into different uh, several nodes those nodes we call it as leaves which will be at the end of that tree right so that will be representing our output the there will be no further split if we are at the leaf node right so we need to stop over there so decision trees are nothing but a bunch of uh, you can say different if and else statements it checks the condition if the condition is true and if it is then true then it will go to the next node attached to that decision and then again will ch check whether there is any kind of iteration being possible whether to go for yes or no whether this given any specific condition works or no if it works it will again split into another node and then will keep on until it reaches to the leaf node right so let's see an example of how if i want to decide whether i would be going to play outside or not depending on uh, whether uh, the temperature humidity and wind so based on these parameters if i am trying to decide whether i should be uh, going to play outside or not so in this scenario you consider this uh, table as a data set so uh, based on this we will be having a yes no features and if yes then it will be that the next feature which is humidity and wind it will again check whether the wind is a strong wind or weak wind if it is weak wind then it will check again that it is raining or not the whether the person may go for uh, playing outside or not so depending on several conditions such as weather temperature humidity wind it will decide how should i decide to whether to play or not you know a uh, normal and a feasible situation to go outside and play right so this has a kind of data set in this way and if we draw a decision tree based on these parameters so weather humidity and wind we get this kind of diagram now on the root node we are having weather now this is from where we start we do know whether it is wind whether it is humidity we decide that based on weather conditions i will be deciding whether i will be going to play outside or not so in the previous table we had three different weather conditions as sunny cloudy and rainy so in one of the options of weather conditions we have if it is cloudy i can go for playing right now irrespective of that we have one more options as sunny and one more as rainy so if it is sunny how humid it is whether it is high if it is high humidity i cannot go to play it is normal humidity i can go outside for playing in case of rainy if the wind is strong i cannot go to play if the wind is weak i can go for playing right so these much number of decisions based on given conditions what are the possible outcomes it tries to generate and then gives you an output whether in yes or no or in zeros and ones and then you decide based on these different conditions what would be the most optimum probabilistic solution to go outside for playing right now at a certain condition this tree has stopped giving multiple options right because there is no condition whatever the conditions and the sub conditions were they are being now satisfied and for every condition we have an option as yes or no so based on this condition what we can say that basically of any algorithm in machine learning the goal of ml is to decrease the uncertainty of disorders from the data set that means from all of the above questions or you can say all of these above possibilities we can say that we will be having something called as uh, yeses and nos right so basically in decision tree the output will be mostly in terms of either yes or in either no right so for measuring that uncertainty or you can say the disorder we use the term as entropy right so this is the formula of how we calculate the entropy this is for leaf nodes and for deciding the parent node or the root node we have the concept named as information gain so we'll see these first leaf nodes and then we'll move on to the information gain write down this formula because we'll be needing this entropy 
is nothing but the uncertainty in our data set or measuring of the disorder. Now here basically in this formula, we have uh, signs as P of plus, P of minus and uh, entropy of S. S is nothing but the, you can say subset, right? And one part of that entire tree, subset of that entire training example. P plus would stand for probability of your positive classes. That is all yes. And P of minus stands for probability of negative classes considered as all no's, right? So I recommend you write this formula. I will be needing this later, right? So as I said, entropy will measure the impurity of a node. At what node currently we are, it will be trying to measure the impurity, right? So what is impurity? Impurity is nothing but the degree of any, uh, can say randomness. Right? You don't know the exact output based on a certain condition. You will be trying to evaluate how good it is. So that is from where we start as randomness. So impurity is defined as the degree of randomness and entropy will measure the impurity of a node right? based on this formula. Now let's see, uh, let's have some conditions based on how uh, we are going to solve the problems. right? Draw this diagram, consider this as feature one, feature two and feature three. We'll take a very small example so that we can evaluate every feature. We can work on every condition and then come to a conclusion then how these decisions are made and how we should choose our root node. Suppose here in this, we are having eight yes and four no's. And initially after your first split, the NEF uh, the node on the left side gets five yes and two no's. On the other hand, on the right hand side, on the right node, we get three yes and two no's. Right? So name it as feature one as your root node that will be seeing in the other part of information gain. But with respect to impurity uh, calculating, we need to go for entropy. So we'll consider here now feature two and feature three. Now let's calculate the impurity of feature two first, and then we'll go with feature three, right? So considering on the first part on the uh, left hand side, we'll be considering it. So calculating the impurity of feature two using your entropy formula. What is the formula we have used for entropy? E of S equal to minus probability of positive classes. That is all yes into log of your positive classes. The other term minus P of minus and log into P of minus. Right now here in, in feature two, considering with this part on the left hand side named as feature two, how many yes are there? There are positives, five positives and two negatives. There are how many values? There are five positive values as yes and two negative values as no, right? So in this condition, what we have to write it as P of plus, that is how many total conditions are seven, five plus two is seven, right? And now on the other hand, what we have is to calculate the positive classes and the negative classes. So how do you write this here as five divided by seven into log to the base two, five divided by seven. Now this is with respect to five, considering all total cases, total cases, we have five plus two, seven out of them. Positives are five negatives are two, right? So on the first half part of the entropy formula, write it as five by two, oh sorry, five by seven, considering the positive classes into log two, five by seven. Now you have a minus sign for this first term. So the entire term goes as minus five by seven 
into log two five by seven. Right. The second part, considering with this formula, we have the other part still left out for negative ones. Right. What are the negative ones? What are the nos? We have two nos. So the formula will be this minus sign p of negative classes. There are two classes negative. So two divided by seven. Seven is the number of possibilities we are having out there. Right. So two by seven. Into log p of two by seven to the base two. Right. Consider here base as log two. Hmm. Calculate this. What value do you get? The first condition minus five by seven will go for minus zero point seventy one into log five by seven to the base two will have value as minus zero point forty nine. On the right hand side, you will be having two by seven as point twenty eight into log two by seven to the base two will have value minus one point eighty three. So on the right hand side, you will be having as Zero point thirty four Everyone remember the formula? Note down this formula. Yes, Komal noted this formula. See, basically, what we need to find out. This is our table. Based on this table, we will be deciding whether to go out for playing or not. so what are the different parameters different conditions which will decide whether i should go out for playing or not that is depending on my weather conditions the temperature the humidity and the wind right so i have evaluated these number of possibilities that if the weather is cloudy i'll be going for outside playing what if there are two different conditions as if the weather is sunny or if the weather is rainy if it is sunny how humid the climate will be outside whether it is high humid or normal humid if it is normal i'll be going out for a play on the other hand if the if there's a rainy outside how is the wind whether it is strong or weak if it is weak i can go out for a play otherwise i'll be staying in the home right so based on these conditions there are two different formulas what we uh, need to evaluate is the first impurity that is based on your entropy so if we calculate the entropy we calculate the disorders or the impurities in our tree so that we will go for a splitting the n number of nodes from the leaf node from the parent node if we reach to the leaf node that means we are getting the output as yes or no and we do not have to go for any other splitting that means we have to stop over there right and this is the formula e of s minus p of plus that is your positive classes into log p positive classes to the base 2 minus p of negative classes into log p of negative nos right so obviously any output in your decision tree will be either yes or no so these are all your yes and these are all your nos right so with this formula we'll consider this example right this is just a two level tree in this we are getting the output so this this part below here as 5 2 3 and 2 these are our outputs based on these conditions now question arises that how should i choose this as my root node we'll see that right so i have divided this entire structure tree structure into three different parts as feature 1 feature 2 and feature 3 now feature 1 will fall in part of root node 
right and feature 2 and 3 will be a part of your sub tree coming from root node and then having leaf nodes right so this will be a sub tree so we'll evaluate this first as feature 2 and this as feature 3 so on the left hand side part how many number of possibilities we are having total seven possibilities we are getting and from that we have two different classification based on the conditions that there are five yes and two no's right now total possibilities are seven positive classes or yes are five negative classes or no's are two so according to this formula of entropy if i want to calculate it will be my positive classes as minus 5 by 7 into log 5 by 7 to the base 2 this will be my positive classes my negative classes were two there are two nos right according to this formula what i'll be getting this minus sign 2 by 7 into log 2 by 7 to the base 2 getting good uh who has messaged me yeah pavan yeah your value is 0.8631 86.8631 is the right answer note down here you have not yet completed we are just evaluated one of the feature right this is your one of the feature you have formula you have values noted there write the answer for feature 2 pavan has given the right answer as 0.8631 those who have not yet calculated they can note down here and can solve later right now this is only one condition for entire decision tree on the other hand we have still 50 more probabilistic answers yet to be evaluated right so in feature 3 what we have positive classes as 3 and negative classes as 2 so same entropy using the same entropy formula now with 3 yes and 2 nos what we will be doing we will be again calculating this formula now it will be minus 3 by 5 3 are your positive classes and total conditions are 5 so 3 by 5 so according to this formula e of s equal to minus 3 by 5 into log of your possible positive classes 3 by 5 to the base 2 this was for positive part all your yes answers this is for all your no answers so minus sign 2 by 5 into log 2 by 5 to the base 2 i repeat for feature 3 we are having 3 yes and 2 nos so my positive classes are 3 my negative classes are 2 according to this entropy formula it will be minus 3 by 5 into log 3 by 5 to the base 2 minus 2 by 5 that is my negative classes all nos into log 2 by 5 to the base 2 yes again pavan has given the right answer for feature 3 we have the probabilistic output as 0.97 pavan you can message directly to all so that they can visible they can get the answer so feature 2 we are having 0.8631 feature 3 we are having 0.97 or if you are getting an answer in 4 it might be 0.9666 hmm? so this is the answer what we are getting now we can clearly see that from this tree that the left node has low entropy right feature 2 is on the left hand side feature 3 is on the right hand side so from this calculations as 0.86 
and 0.97 you can clearly see that the tree that on the left hand side on the left node has low entropy or you can say more purity than the right node since left node has greater number of yes and it is very easy to decide because i want to go to play outside if there are maximum yeses right so where does it fall on the right hand side or on the left hand side of each condition so we can say that the higher the entropy the lower will be the purity and the higher will be the impurity right so if my entropy is increasing going on increasing uh, the lower will be my purity and it will be uh, going towards your uh, impurity see i got a message that 10 minutes are remaining if the session expires again join with this link or i'll share a new link right all are getting these answers 0.86 and 0.97 okay now this was about the sub nodes right we are getting these answers but how do i decide based on my feature 2 and my feature 3 this feature 1 is right or wrong might be this could be a sub tree amongst these feature 2 or feature 3 might be some of the root nodes i don't know right so based on my uh, uh, sub trees that is feature 2 and feature 3's entropy is my root node that is feature 1 getting affected right i don't know that value so to get to know whether due to feature 2 and feature 3 whether my parent node that is feature 1 is getting affected or not so for that what we need is the information gain right so information gain is nothing but the measure of reduction of your uncertainty with with uh, some features which also decide that the factors for which the attribute should be selected on your decision node or on your root nodes right now this root node is is being selected based on what uh, uh, you are having number of populations right how well your data is being evaluated and from where does it starts right so that information gain will be seen let me open a word document and share it with you so that i can write the formulas are you able to see the screen okay now this is my information gain I'll write the formula for it capital e of y minus capital e we are going to find out for each condition so y of x note down this formula this is for information gain information gain we use it for calculating the or deciding the root node right because from this formula if you are trying to decide that these are my feature 2 and feature 3 i need to decide whether my feature 1 is right or wrong right otherwise for this what if i am depending on my wind feature if wind is strong or wind is weak outside there might be rainy or not rainy right based on these rainy conditions whether the whether it is cloudy or sunny so how do i decide my root one right so this is again a problematic situation because as i move on my complexity will be going on increasing my number of conditions will be increasing so for resolving the conditions whether it is yes or no yes or no for every sub tree we can have this entropy to to 
to decrease your impurity but whether my parent is right or not the root tree the root of this node is right or wrong for that calculation part i'll be going for information gain okay everyone wrote this formula now let's have a, di a different example from where we can evaluate how information gain can be decided uh in decision tree if we have uh, more number of training sets now it is likely that your accuracy will be more uh, you can say uh, nearby to your actual predicted values so you must have larger training set for decision trees to get the more accurate results now let us consider an example from where we are having 30 instances that is my i am having 30 rows now this data set is to predict whether the person will go to gym or not right now uh, if i have to decide whether a person will be going for gym or not i need some parameters right let's say out of those 30 instances we decide that 16 people will go to gym and 14 won't 16 people go to gym and 14 does not now in this out of these 30 instances what we have 16 will go to gym and 14 will not that means positives and negatives yes and nos right we have 16 and 14 now consider these 30 different instances now we have two features to predict whether the person as he or she will go to gym or not right so note down it as feature 1 as energy so feature one based on the amount of energy also you can decide whether the person will go to gym or not feature two we can decide on the motivation how motivated he is or she is to go for the gym now again energy can be evaluated as high or low right it can have two more values and for motivation it can have i can say three more values as no motivation as neutral and you can say highly motivated right note down these we have 30 instances we need to see that how many people will be going for gym and how many will not be so out of that what we have decided is 16 people will go to gym and 14 will not based on two different features first feature is energy second feature is motivation now we need to decide which will be our parent node so that the uh, next uh, you can say uh, motivation will be your parent node or sub node will be decided Okay, everyone with me here. In feature, you will have as energy as your feature one, which has high energy and low energy. In second feature, you have three different values for motivation, as it is no motivation, or the person is neutral, or on the other hand, it is highly motivated, right? Very excited to move to the gym. So obviously, you will be having high energy, right? You can draw this diagram for feature one. 16 yes right the round represents the person will be going to gym the star indicates she will be he or she will not be going to the gym
everyone taken the diagram now this is feature 1 uh, having two different values as high and low there will be feature 2 which are having three values as no motivated neutral and highly motivated right so for now starting from this feature what we need to evaluate is the e of parent i think i have all have taken this diagram i'll move on to the word document 